making this video in order to just remind people who drive cars to please check before you open your car door to get out. Um, just check that there isn't a cyclist right there who doesn't have enough reaction time to stop. Um, because this is this is um, a picture of a cyclist's favorite shirt. And, um, and uh, this is her favorite Calvin Klein beater. Her favorite undershirt that at emergency, they, they you know, they, they cut it up. This is a bag from the hospital. And, um, and these were some really nice pants, really nice summer pants that, you know, they cut them off, you can't fix them. And those were favorite cotton bikini underwear, completely ruined in emergency. So drivers, please, please, it's, you know, it's, we appreciate how annoying it is to have cyclists, but you would only have to wait for maybe two seconds for a cyclist to pass um, before you can step out of your, open your door and step out of your car. So what you're seeing here is the actual imprint of a car door in the face of a cyclist. That's, that's why the laceration that goes almost through the cheek um, is a perfect right angle. Uh, like, uh, the good news is I found out today the bike is okay. Um, I, apparently I was able to steer the wheel clear of the opening car door. However, I have a policy of not going left into traffic, right, and accepting the consequences of a, a head-on. Um, um, I've been caught by a door once before. So the good news is the, the basket is crushed, but the bike itself is fine. Because the, 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 it was my, my face that, uh, that took the impact. So you can see that it's a print of the edge of a car door in a, in a human face. In this instance of what at the hospital got referred to by almost like a code as car door bike. In this instance, the good news is that the cyclist survived. Um, the lane she fell into was clear enough that the coming driver was able to stop before running her over. Um, uh, the irony is she was on her way to thank a physiotherapist uh, because she had just completed 40 sessions to correct a problem in the cervical spine that, from the feel of it, um, is going to require another 40 sessions of physiotherapy. Um, so there's going to be that bill, and there's going to be the ambulance bill, and the medication bill, you know, to say nothing of the favorite set of summer clothes. So, um, so yeah, just a reminder to drivers to please, oh, and yeah, it's going to take a while to get this side of the jaw to match the other side again, and, um, we're not sure about the teeth. Um, yeah, drivers, just please remember to check because we cyclists can't stop on a dime and you only have to wait a couple of seconds before you can open your door and get out. Uh, the driver just had to, to look before they opened the door. Anyway, okay. 
かとあああ,あ If you're if you really are a cycle cyclist hater <laughs> I, I you can it, if you're a cyclist hater maybe it would give you some grim pleasure to know that this injury really 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 hurt uh, the the trauma to the upper spine and um, and the face and when they asked how it felt my answer was I felt like I was having a baby through my head so if you're a cyclist hater maybe it will give you some pleasure to know that a cyclist got really hurt I really hurt today it's a lot of pain and um but I'm gonna let you know that that will not stop me. This is the second time in 30 years that my bike was accordioned by a car door and I will, it's a steel frame that I'm told I can't straighten out by Martin Heath and other great masters of cycle repair that helped me to straighten it out and I'm going to take it and straighten it out again and um, be back on the road. Uh, just as soon as the wheels, the front wheel uh, points forward again, um, I sincerely believe that we can share the roads. I'm a, a defense, I drive defensively and also passively get off and walk along the sidewalk on stretches where there isn't room for bicycles. Um, I think we can happily share the roads. So I wish that the leadership, the municipal leadership, framed things as a, a conversation and a campaign to come up with ways to agreeably share the roads rather than declaring road warfare, the war against the car, the car versus the cyclist. I think we can not only get along, but we can happily share the roads if you know, we all drive um, carefully and respectfully. I really liked this outfit. 